Tonight, we're tracking how farmers in the state are dealing with the aftermath of our most recent hurricane, Dory. Right now, farmers are feeling the impact of Dorian and a dry, hot summer, too. WNCT's Ariana Kraft joins us in the studio with more. This is not the first year farmers are suffering losses due to hurricanes or other factors, but the repeated losses year after year is making it difficult for them to survive. All of this combined is a uh, physical, emotional, challenge, I guess. It's just, it's strange. Archie Griffin is one of many farmers tired of having yet another bad year, and it's not just from the weather. We're in the middle of, of a trade war. Coupling a trade war with these consecutive back-to-back -back years, it's that culmination of just getting slapped around multiple times. With Hurricane Dorian passing just after the beginning of harvesting season, farmers are stressed. Storm events impact our crops in ways as we're seeing here today. The corn crop is blown down. You go into Hyde County on down towards Englehard, the crop down there is completely flat. So that is going to pose a tremendous challenge in terms of getting the crop that's left in the field harvested. And Griffin says farmers don't want just a temporary fix. We want our markets and we want the commodity prices to come up so that it's above the break-even point. Currently, prices are below break-even, and, and you can't cash flow. And at the end of the day, we're a business just like any other business. And just like other businesses, farmers contribute to the economy. The better we are and the better the farm economy is, ultimately has an impact on your, your local county and your local area. In the next few months, as harvesting season comes to an end, farmers will begin to get a good feel for what the true damage is after Hurricane Dorian. Archie Griffin tells me a way that the community can help farmers in this difficult time is to continue to reach out and buy local. In the studio, Ariana Kraft, 9 on your side.